Good morning and welcome to today's video. Welcome to day 18 of riding across Australia. I actually got the day right. That makes a change. Today we're riding 211 k's, so significantly shorter than yesterday, but still quite a long day. A um, couple of stops along the way, headwind, bit of coast, beautiful. Let's get going. It's chilly. It's cold. <laughs> So here we are rolling, had to backtrack slightly today to get out of the town. Now we're on new, lovely, quiet roads. We're actually chasing breakfast this morning because nowhere in the town was open at that time, so couldn't get any food. Luckily, we ate most of that care package that we got last night. It's funny how things happen like that. We really needed it. About 80 kilometers to go to the first town and that's where we're gonna stop, have some breakfast, recoup and uh, plug away. It's gonna be another long day, but a means to an end. Three days left. How nice is this? Beautiful, mate. This is stunning. Yeah. We've been on this road basically since we left Beachport. All the traffic, as you can see. We've had a lovely chat with our boys. We've seen the flying penguins. Oh, that's old. That's a lot of egg. Big old lips behind you. Probably a bit of a mess. We've um, made it the 85k's to Panola. We're in an amazing bakery that we found, filling our stomachs. And then uh, 130k's to do after this. That was a bit of a challenge on um, just sour patch kids. Tired, feeling tired. Just gonna eat this, chill out for a little bit, wait for the energy levels to come back, and then plug away. Try these Tonys. They make your mouth all cold. Why? It is cold. I've got four layers on. <laughs> I think we're cold because we're tired. Yes. Yeah. Well, at least the chilli peppers are playing. Chilli peppers. Oh. Uh, Melbourne's on a sign. So back on the road, the food has made a world of difference. We're both feeling a million times better. Chris has got a bit of a niggle in his leg, so taking it easy for a bit. These things just happen on long rides like this. We were talking about it and if you've got any sort of underlying injury, doing this sort of ride will bring it out. All we got to do is plug away. The difference between us riding hard now because we're so fatigued and riding easy is only like a couple of k's an hour so we might as well finish the distance and feel slightly fresher at the end. Still averaging 25 k's an hour or so so it's good. A few climbs towards the end of the day, flat for now. 50 k's to the next stop. Noisiest bird! Oop. So we've now crossed into Victoria. Me and Chris both agree it's starting to look like Australia again after what looked like the countryside in the UK for ages. A bit of sand by the side of the road, kind of burnt looking trees, a bit more rural, a few more dead kangaroos. It's interesting, I think Victoria changed the law about how close you're allowed to overtake cyclists to one and a half meters quite recently. Since we've crossed the border, we haven't had a single close overtake from anyone, so perhaps that's why. 20 k's to go, bit of a refuel. Get in there. Right. Food. <sighs> You're right. I'm a bit sore today. <laughs> it's it's alright, we've got 60k now. This is not my finest day, shall we say. No. No, it's probably the worst I felt. What's the injury? Where is it? This motherfucker, oh. this guy, is very sore, very stiff. Be alright tomorrow. We've managed to like, not, I've managed to not really do anything, haven't I really? Just yeah. soft pedal, so be alright tomorrow. Yeah. Just need to feet up when we get. Roll it a little bit, but not too much. And then feet up. Chill out. Chill out. We've got 60 something K. Okay. <laughs> 69. I've got a guac. Got a whole baguette. Sour Patch Kids. Because we've eaten all of the Sour Patch Kids that the lady gave us. As I said, we're 68 Ks to go. Um, unfortunately, we've gone through another time zone, so now it's later than we thought it was. Uh, only half an hour though. Only half an hour. I mean, we can, we can, we're not going to be back that late, but uh, still, a bit of a rush when we get in, get dinner um, sorted, get the edit out. Just had a message from Cycling Maven. He's definitely going to be joining us from the last stage uh, from Ballarat to Melbourne. So that's cool. And we're also staying with Shane Miller tomorrow night. I will not be riding one of his many, many turbo trainers. I'm fatigued. Oh, God. What? Just twitch him. <laughs> Chewy caramel, fudge, crunchy boards and loads of chocolate. 
Apparently it's very Australian. Oh. I've never seen it before. No. Shock keto, 55 grams of stuff. Nutrition. Chips. What have you done? What have you done? How good has this ride just got? Because of the cows. Mate, the cows are nuts. Why do they cows. come towards us? Everyone's being friendly, but I think they're probably evil because we're in Australia. Yeah, yeah, everything's trying to kill us. Right, so we've made it to Hamilton and we decided to do a uh, two up TT for the whole rest of the day. Completely smashed it, like 30 k's an hour average for the last bit. We are now very tired, but luckily we've only got one big day left. Unfortunately, we hit Hamilton about 5 k's ago. Hamilton's quite big, and our place is booked on the other side of the town, so oh, we'll be there eventually. Didn't factor this in. It's one of my boys. You're right, mate. No, I need some painkillers, man. Which is looking not at its best because we had a giant tree we moved out there today, oh. and so there's wood everywhere. Was yes. it a koala that did it? Qu I don't even know how big they are. It's probably like massive. Koala. What's the koala? No, like? koalas can get like they're a they're six foot tall. They're six foot tall. Are they? they get on the. Is that dog in the window? Mate, I think this is one of the nicest rooms we've stayed in. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Hello, yeah. mate. How are you? Good, thank you. Easy drink. Yes, mate. Oh, are you paying? That doesn't tap. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Now we're sick of pizza, but they deliver it to here. Yeah. Capsicums really good. on it, mate. Capsicums, wild capsicums. Elevating my legs. This, they're not very well. I'm sure there is some science to explain it. Yeah, someone, loads of people have told me to elevate my legs, so I'm elevating them. I don't know. I know how to. I know the science. I can't be asked to explain it right now. I'm too tired, man. It involves putting your legs in the air, though. Working with a laptop like this. Sign the video off, please, because I'm tired and we can go to bed and then we can ride the penultimate day. I'll do it like fresh. you. I'll do it like you. You ready? Yeah. Oh, my hair's... Where's it? Yeah. There we go. Good night. <laughs>